I've exhausted every evil plan in my filing cabinet from A to Y. A to Y? Yeah, A to Y, you know, the alphabet. What about Z? Z? Z, the letter after Y. W, X, Y, Z, plan Z, here it is, just like you said. Yeah, boy. Oh, 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 it's evil, it's diabolical, it's lemon-scented, this plan Z can't possibly fail. This is Book of Job, chapter 20 and verse 23. When he is about to fill his belly, the heavenly father shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him and shall rain it upon him while he is eaten. I want to give all honor, glory, and infinite praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Racha Kodash. Double honor to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, peace and salutations to the elect scattered abroad, pushing his truth and sincerity. Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Racha Kodash, Brakdam to use aquanium. You know, you elders, you brothers, you sisters, the whole full elect out there laboring, keeping the commandments to the best of your ability, giving diligence to make your calling and election sure. And of course, keeping faith in the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His beloved Son, our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shah HaMashiach, in these last days, in these perilous times that we're living in. This is Brother Peshai, Ba'an Yashallah. And this will be a quick lesson through the Spirit of Papi Yahweh Shem Shai on the evil and diabolical plans of the wicked elites will ultimately fail okay now you've seen in the, the clip from the intro man that's from an old movie that came out when i was real young you know uh for you know, the movie that came up for children you know yeah plankton which he's an edomite man plankton had the spirit of an edomite all right he always had all these plans to try to covet you know he wanted to steal something that wasn't his all right he always covered and after something that, was, that did not belong to him man and thinking spiritually man all right in this truth in this faith we understand that the elites top banking families they literally want our blessing all right they want our blessing the kingdom of heaven immortality power rulership over all the world man but they're going about it on the left hand side all right they want immortality through microchips all right through transferring consciousness which all that has bs man transferring consciousness and all of this all right um they want to have world domination a one world government all right that's on the back of the dollar bill they got it written in latin which proves this is rome all over again because in the roman empire they spoke latin all right but they got it in latin um on a new coeptes which that literally means god favors the undertakings we're going to work undertakings are going to enterprise so they believe the mosai the scriptures going to that too they believe the mosai was altogether as, as such as like themselves all right so they believe the most sides with him, which he is to some degree. I mean, he's allowing them to set up the end of well for a certain degree until you take their ass down. All right. They also got um, on the back of the dollar bill, uh, 1776 and Roman numerals. All right. <clears throat> it's something else they got on the back of the dollar bill. I can't remember right now. Oh, um, order at uh, uh, novice auto sacrum. New order of the ages, man. All right, and Joe Biden not so long ago mentioned that too. It about to be a newer order out there. We gotta be the ones to lead it. All right, so their plans of world domination will ultimately fail because that's coming for the nation of Israel. But soon as the second Ezra six chapter and verse nine, how Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is beginning to die follow with man. All right, so they have all these different evil, demonic, satanic guys plans to establish the one world government, the new world order, and it will ultimately fail, man, because they're in the holy scriptures. All right. So I threw in that clip in for a little entertainment, you know, it was, it was, I found it funny, all right? Because that's Esau, man, you know? Plain things remind me of Esau, okay? So we can read Job, the 20th chapter again, we can get some more. Because <clears throat> we know all their plans, man. And a lot of things, too, which I'm going to, you know, try to use use my words wisely because um, Esau is censoring a lot of, you know, uh, like certain information that comes out, he's quick to take it down, all right? Because he don't want all his plans is out there, okay? But... We know the whole, you know, C, Uno Nueve thing was a was an experiment. It was a trial. The whole goal was to have everyone, you know, um, cracksinated, okay? Everyone with the crack scene in them. Finesse. All right? They want everyone to take the jump shot. All right? Now it's leading into the next thing as I about to bring out, which could be the, the, the Marburg virus, right? The MB virus. All right? 
that one and it's a lot of monkey it's a lot of you know disease and pestilence that's in matthew 24 chapter all right pestilence in diverse places man earthquakes all of that right so their goal was to bring order out of chaos so they're going to bring in chaos all right then establish their order all right what's their order would be their what their newer order right they're sending the troops the martial law troops so the elites they do things in the dark and they literally don't think no one is watching them let's get that right quick as a matter of fact in the book of isaiah the 29th chapter verse 15 it says woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from the lord and the works are in the dark they do everything in secrecy all right and what did um john f kennedy say about secrecy man you know the fact of a secret is repugnant man you know how we live in a free world with secret societies and stuff like that he was going into that that he peeled the scalp back man okay they turn his water off after he said that they turn his tv off man after he said those statements all right but he was already set up to get put to death as well because the Mossad, the way he put abraham lincoln and John Kennedy to death, you know, there's a, a lot of similarities, man. So, you know, most I got a sense of humor. It says, and they say who seeth us, all right? So they do works in, this, in secret, in the dark, and they say who sees us, man. Who knows of our plans, all right? And who knoweth us? And who knows that we even exist, man? All right? Who knows that we're the ones that's pulling all the strings? But all the information has been coming out in these last days, all right? By way of the prophets, okay? We're going to get the book of um, Nahum 3 and verse... Five, behold, I am against thee, saith the Lord of hosts. All right? And I will discover thy skirts upon thy face, man. You ever seen them old commercials or old little cartoons where Betty Bo Peep, you know, I don't know if that's a name, whatever. Or you got Marilyn Monroe when they standing on top of a vent and the air come up and they skirt get lifted up and they trying their best to put their skirt down. That's Esau right now. That's the elites right now. Okay, so now what they're doing is trying to um control the narrative. All right, because information already came out about the agenda. So now they try to control it and make it comical, putting TV shows out like Inside Job. There's another one called the, um, it started with a V, like the, the something. I can't remember the name, but that, uh, the Ville. Let me look it up right quick. Let me just look it up right quick. Bear with me, Akim. <clears throat> but I'm a, I'm a, let me see, the Ville something man let me just type this in netflix show about uh secret society they got one called the order that's another one out there the order what's another one the penteverate so i ain't start with the v it's the penteverate the brother um alaya put me on to that you know i checked it out all right so they have tv shows coming out about you know their secret societies but they trying to make it comical man you see that? They're trying to make it comical. So that's him trying to control the narrative because his skirt is upon his face right now. It says, and I will show the nations thy nakedness. So everyone was seeing his, what, his sins, all right? And the kingdoms thy shame, all right? It says, and I will cast abominable filth upon thee and make thee vow and set thee as a gazing stock, man. So that, you know, this, you go into the context, you go into Nineveh, but it's going to um today as well, Esau Edom, okay? So from there, let's go Obadiah, the first chapter. Well, it's only one chapter to Obadiah, but let's go Obadiah 1 and verse 6. How are the, how are the things of Esau searched out? How, how are his hidden things sought up? Okay, so everything that Esau did in the dark behind closed doors is being brought to light by way of who? We're going to read it. The first Thessalonians 2. Nope, the second Thessalonians. I always get the mixed up. Second Thessalonians 2 and verse 7. It says... That's verse 8. And then shall that wicked be revealed. Right? So Esau Edom, he's the wicked. Pursuant to Malachi, the first chapter. It says, And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. Who's that? The prophets, man. All right? And shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Right? Yahweh shall return. It says, Even him going to the wicked, right? Whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders, man. That's what he got, you know, um, Alan Musk with his, you know, brain, neural links, you know, CHIPs in the brain. He, but he, November 30th, man, November 30th, he has a show and, show and tell event where he's going to put inside people's brains and they're going to be showing it, man. So the, 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 the fulfillment of Revelation 30, chapter verse 16 is already here. All right. 
So they say that if you're par paraplegic, you could walk again. All right. If you, you know, you could, oh, you could literally control your computer with your mind. That's signs and lion wonders, man. And as a matter of fact, David Icke already, you know, brought this out, which he's an insider, double agent, but he brought this out of how the plans of the elites ultimately is that everyone, you know, microchipped and have everyone, everyone's, you know, uh, controlled by a global computer system. So they want what? Mindless zombies, mindless slaves, man. Okay. It says, and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish, because they receive not the love of the truth, that they might be saved, going to the Israelites, man. Because a lot of Israelites are going to get down with this man. Okay? Now, that's the point I wanted to get on that. So, we're in a time now where this man is being exposed, all right? And his plans of a new world order, all right? His evil, diabolical plans ultimately fail, ultimately fail, because he literally plans to rule this earth and have everyone in captivity everyone chip'd which he's not gonna grab you and put it in you he want people to submit to him he has that god complex he wants you to submit and bow to him okay like he's your god all right and he want to brand you right with the chip with the with the mark with the karagma all right <clears throat> it, whether it be in the, in the head or in the hand all right and remember they said you will own nothing and be happy how are you gonna be happy if you don't own nothing because your mind is inside the VR. And also, it's common sense. They put a, a CHIP in your brain. You know, they want to control you, man. They show you in a movie, implant it. Okay? What happened? They turned that girl to an assassin, man. You see that? So that's the time that we in right now. All right, but they ultimate plans after because they understand World War III going to pop off. They put that in Resident Evil 2 with the T-Virus. They said, let's create a, let's have a man-made apocalypse, man. Well, we're going to ride out in bunkers, not like in the, in the ark. He said it happened before with great success. He pointed to the Holy Bible, man. All right. That's when Heavenly Father destroyed the earth, the first the first death with the flood. and only saved Noah and his three sons and their wives. So now the second death is approaching. And they're going to try to hide from the wrath of the Lamb in the underground bunkers, man. And they literally believe in the phoenix and how they're going to rise from the ashes. Right. And further their, their agenda, man. All right, having a world depopulated at that time, because guess what? The most he about to depopulate this world, man. He about to put a lot of people to death, and only save the elect, and the wicked can be preserved for slaves, man. All right, that's about to happen. So that's why I'm saying their plans will ultimately fail, because they they want to rise from the ashes and rule, but as they end the underground bunkers, the elect gonna grab their ass up. Leviathan gonna be getting their ass. All right, so they they they, they you elites, you top bacon families are fucking done. Look at Isaiah the 24th chapter. Isaiah 24 and verse 22. No, 21. It's, it says, And it shall come to pass in that day, right? During the time of the destruction. If you start up some, it goes to the destruction. All right? The earth railing to and fro like a drunkard, so on and so forth, right? It says, And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, shall punish the host of the high ones that are on high. Who's the high ones that's on high? The elites, man. They're in a whole nother bracket. Of rich, okay, and wealth, right? And they rule this world, man. By the way, they financial, political, intelligence, educational, secret societies. They fund all these things. They pharmaceuticals. You see that? Go back to 1910, okay? Go look it up. Going to 1910. What happened during that time, man? Everything. That's when. That's when the federal the FDR, you know, uh, federal no, FR Federal Reserve Bank and system. All right. Oh, FRN notes, right? Federal Reserve notes, you know, all of that. Um, they also, I think, it, I think it was Big Pharma, something like that. They got rid of all the old medicinal ways that people, you know, use medicines and they started bringing the pharmaceutical companies on down, man. So they've been playing this for a long time, all right? A long time. They, they've, been, they've been ruling for a long time, but now, the, so those are the high ones on high. They, wrote, they own all these different corporations and companies, all right? One of the brothers posted this up and I took a screenshot right when you go um to the small hats you know every single aspect of the media is you know the issues the small hats the the war humpers the oral circumcision given weirdos right sony paramount fox comcast right the walt disney company you see that you got discovery channels columbia pictures okay you got uh ralph Cohn founder I'm going to name some of the most popular ones. Showtime, TMZ, Fox, 
you know, CBS Studios, Nickelodeon, <laughs> uh, CW, right, Vice TV, ESPN, Marvel, CNN, HBO, all right, <clears throat> what else? You got a lot up here. So six, you know, small hat corporations owns 90%, 96% of the media, man. Because the media is their wand, all right? That's why they cast their spells upon the people, man. Because the elites, they worship Satan blatantly, all right? Brother Shaco Don posted that up in his lesson he did a while back. I'm not even going to call it because they'll probably take this video down, all right? So brothers got to use wisdom. Let's read back to Isaiah 24, chapter verse 21. It says, And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall punish the hosts of the high ones that are on high, and the kings of earth upon the earth. So that those that rule, the Lord going to what? Punish them, man. It says, and they shall be gathered together. We're going to gather the ass up as prisoners are gathered in the pit. So that's what they're going to dwell in pits. They're going to go from the palaces and underground mansions and cities to pits. It says, and shall be shut up in the prison. And after many days shall they be visited, man. All right. So we're going to lock their ass up in chains and bring them to the land of Jerusalem for slaves and servants, man. So that's why their plans will ultimately fail. All right. <clears throat> we'll get a few more. Look about the Job, and let's get 22. I'll leave one one to 22. All right. Is this what I want? Let me see. Is it, it's probably Job 20. Yep. Job 20, verse 5. It says, the start verse 4. Knowest thou not this of old, since man was placed upon earth, that the triumphing of the wicked is short? And the joy of the hypocrite, but for a moment, though his excellency mount up to the heavens, and his head reach into the clouds. Was the scripture going to that about Esau? Let's get that Obadiah, and it's also in Jeremiah, the forty-ninth chapter, Obadiah one. And I'm sorry, verse one: The vision of Obadiah, thus saith the Lord, power concerning Edom. You have heard a rumor of from the Lord, and an ambassador sent among the heathen, arise ye, and let us rise up against her in battle. Behold, I made thee small among the heathen, thou art greatly despised. The pride of thine heart have deceived thee, thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock, whose habitation is high, that saith in his heart, who shall bring me down to the ground? So they are, they to the certain level, but they're like, yo, who gonna bring us down, man? <laughs> That's why they didn't grab every single Bible and burn it up. Okay, that's why Going back to one west in Harlem, that's why they didn't take the building and try to blow it up. All right. That's why they saw brothers, you know, teaching and stuff like that. They didn't try to like stop it when it was like just the brothers, you know, the elders going back to the one west days. All right. What they did, they tried to, you know, they could have could have infiltrated it. They offered them money and all of this, but they could have, you know, just really like, nah, you know, let's shut this down. Why didn't they do that? They was prideful, man. They was proud. You see that? They thought no one could bring them down. They're like, man, we, we so far and spent billions of dollars to destroy their people. This, it don't matter if a few of them know the Israelites. They all not going to wake up. Look at 2022 today. <laughs> look around, man. If you look at the whole Kanye West controversy thing that's going on, how many Jakes know that they're Jakes? That's a lot of Jakes that know the Israelites, man. That mean all them part of the elect, right? But it's a lot of Israelites that know that they are Israelites. And I, I'm going to say this very quick because we all deal with the ultimately. So ultimately, it was the Lord that preserved the remnant. All right. It was the Lord that preserved, preserved the holy scriptures. That's why Esau couldn't destroy the scriptures. He couldn't destroy the old um, um, the elders that going back to their elders in the one west. He, Esau could have sent a uh, fucking drone to blow the building up. Why, you know, why did he do that? Could have had the hedge around them. And also he had Esau proud, like how the heavenly father had Pharaoh proud that he refused to let our people go. He was puffed up. So that's why Esau is puffed up. All right. So he says, who's going to bring him down to the ground? But guess what? Yahweh Bashim al Shah will, man. He's going to destroy the brightness of his coming. Let's read on. Thou, though thou exalt thyself as the eagle, and that's their, that's their um, symbol, the eagle. And though that said the nest among the stars, when they go into the, the satellites, they go up there out of space, right? Thence will I bring thee down, say the Lord. So that's when he started to get brought down in 1969. Okay. That's when he went up to the heavens, man. Instead of the satellites, all of that, they didn't go on the moon, no. That was a that was a hoax, right? But at that at that moment, that's when you saw that's a decline. If you look at America, that's when America started to decline, man. That's when Esau started to decline. Because after that, knowledge started spreading, man. Think about it. Our elders, elders, okay, going back to Abba Bivens, you know, High Priest Yaquab, High Priest Ariya, King Masha, 
the rest of the seven, you know, because I didn't I don't really know the order, you know, on down to El Apostle Tahar, Gabar, even got, you know, other guys that all here teaching, but they going off right now, Nathaniel, Yohanna, right? <clears throat> yeah, a lot of brothers that go back to the one West, man. Okay. They was going to the icons, the Byzantine Empire, the Illuminati, secret societies, all of that back in the 70s, 80s, and 90s, man. <laughs> you know, I, I learned that through the internet. So how did they know about this, man? They, they were diligently searching the ways of Esau, man, going to books, libraries, reading different things. They was on their watch. See, it was a heavy spirit upon our elders and their elders, man. See, now we got it pretty easy to go to Google, search it up, because I remember when I was like 12, I learned about the Illuminati, man. It was easy going to YouTube, Illuminati, oh, Beyonce, Jay-Z, Devil Horns, you know, demons, right? So it was pretty easy. But back then you had to really dizzy read and study and go to the libraries hour upon hour in, you know, uh, uh, checking out books, checking them back in, you see, or buying them outright, you see? So that's when the Lord started bringing their ass down. So that's why your plans ultimately is going to fail, man, because after three days and a half, the spirit of life came upon us, man. And we're set upon our feet in great fear for the upon them with source, man. All right. Let's read on. It says, no, this is why I bring you down. That was the point I want to get. Okay. What I had before this? Job. Job, the 20th chapter in verse 6. Though his excellency mount up to the heavens and his head reached to the clouds, he was proud. Esau eat him, the wicked. Yet shall he perish forever like his own dung. So he's going to perish like his own shit, man. They... Which have seen him shall say, where is he? Where is he? This was he. This is the man that destroyed kingdoms in Isaiah 14 chapter. He shall fly away as a dream. So this right here can be like one big nightmare to us, man. He's going to fly away like a dream. You shall have a dream, wake up, you forget about it. That's Esau, man. His rulership. That's all of that. Okay, we, we about to rule for all eternity, man. Do you think we'd be thinking about this devil a million years from now? No. It says, it shall not be found. Yea, he shall be chased away as a vision of, of the night. The eye also which saw him shall see him no more. Neither shall his place any more, um, any more behold him. His children shall seek to please the poor. His hands shall restore their goods. And that's happening now. You got a lot of Edomites bowing, to, you know, trying to bow and seek to please the poor. But I finished, man. It says, his bones are full of the, of the sin of his youth, which shall lie down with him in, in the dust. The wickedness be sweet under his, in his mouth, though he hide it under his tongue, though he spare it and forsake it not. But keep it still within his mouth. Wickedness, man. That's all you do is talking about wickedness and sin and, and death and destruction. All right? He has swallowed down riches and he shall vomit them up again. The Heavenly Father shall cast them out of his belly, man. All right? So he got, he got, he got a whole bunch of riches, wealth, all that. He going to have to vomit all that up. All that gold they got sitting in the votes. That's for us, man. Okay? He shall suck the poison of asp. The viper's tongue shall slay him. He shall not see the rivers, the floods, the brooks of honey and butter. That that which he labored for shall he restore and shall not swallow it down. According to his substance shall the restitution be. And he shall not rejoice therein. Because he have oppressed and have forsaken the poor, the Israelites. Because he have violently taken away an house which he built and not met. All right. How is this you know, kingdom founded? Of the rape, robbery, bloodshed and murder of the children of Israel, man. It's going to be going to what he's covered in the blood of the saints. He was drunk with the blood of the saints, right? It says, Surely he shall not feel quietness in his belly. He shall not save of that which he desired. There shall none of his meat be left. Therefore shall no man look for his goods. In the fullness of his sufficiency, we have to fully establish his new world order. He shall be in straits, in position of difficulties. Every hand of the wicked, the laborers, which are us, shall be upon him. You see that? <laughs> this word is shaking the gates of the nobles, man. Right, it says, when he is about to fill his belly, the heavenly father shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him and shall rain it upon him while he is eating. See, he shall flee from the iron weapon, and the bow still shall strike him through when our Lord Yahweh shall returns. All right, <clears throat> let's read on. It is drawn to come out of the body, yea, the glittering sword cometh out of the guile. Terrors are upon him, all darkness shall be hid in the, in the secret places. A fire not blown shall consume him. It shall go ill with him that is left in his tabernacle. The heavens shall reveal his iniquity and the earth shall rise up against him, man. <laughs> you see? The increase of his house shall depart and his goods shall flow away in the day of his wrath. The portion of the, this is the portion of a wicked man. You shall eat him from the heavenly father, Yahweh Shemel Shai, and the heritage appointed unto him by the Mosai. So this is Lot. So his Lot is he will ultimately fail, man. 
So I'm in it there and the prayer is edified. I'm going to give call Lime La Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai Ba'ashem, Rechak Badash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and salutation. Like Scott of the broad pushing his truth in sincerity. With that, I'm going to say Shalom. Wa Baba Ba'ashem.